Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle and we are heading into the expedition because only there we can find fanatics and they have really cool kryptonite and now they do not own any pieces of krypton that's not what I was trying to say they do have though really cool weakness I don't know if you already experienced that in your playthroughs but I did it before and when I discover it, it's so fun. I really think more enemies should have this type of weakness. Okay, make sure the weapon is not equipped. Look at this level 100 fanatic and now I punch it. I did punch it. It's dead. I punched this one. Level 100 again. It's dead. Those are not low level enemies. What is their kryptonite? It's the torn armor. Oh, the robot just arriving. Robots surprisingly have the same weakness. Look, he's dying from punching me. Dead. This robot is dead because of punching me. Okay, let me, let me show you two more. I just, oh, stop crippling my limbs. Just run to them, punch one, punch the other, and I can live. They dead. They both dead. They <laughs> both are dead. Okay, where is the robot? Robots are normally super tanky. I don't know if you are doing expeditions often, but robots can take beating with multiple weapons. Not in here. Can destroy weapon robots with no weapon equipped. No problem. The weapon is not even needed. Every enemy that has fanatic in name behave like that. I don't really have a full explanation why. As you know, Torn Armor is doing a little bit of damage. If you encounter other enemies, that's the melee attacker's bleed and melee, attackers, melee attacks cause bleed damage. So it's the bleed damage that is killing them. But they are taking way more than 250. If I punch a super mutant the same way, it's not even close. I think I will punch a super mutant. Uh, now I will just exit. Uh, just let me punch one more fanatic because I'm being shot. Where is it? Where is he? Oh, there. Okay, one more for you. One more fanatic level 100. That's the damage. On a little bit more laggy server, it will be like a sudden death on well running server that's a private server they will smoothly lose health now let me show you if i punch other enemies like super mutants okay we are back at super mutants place and honestly i think bethesda could add more enemies with such unique weaknesses that would add so much to the depth of the game that's level 50 super mutant it will die Level 50 super mutants are very low health, but we are talking about level 100 enemies like fanatics, so let's get high level super mutant. We have level 75 super mutant, and look at that. That's the difference. The torn bleed damage is there, you can see it, but not nearly as potent as on fanatics. Fanatics behave more like you saw this level 50 super mutant with barely any health, but in the same time, it, I was thinking maybe they have very little health, but it's not possible because the weapons do not kill them fast. It's only the torn armor that kill fanatics fast. There is no weapon that kills them fast. And look, even, even this dog is like, took a lot of time to kill him with bleed. So yeah, do you know answer? Why is Bleed so efficient on Fanatics? If you do, let me know. If you didn't know about this little kryptonite thing, let me know too. And that being said, this is everything for this video. Thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.